So how do I do that uh, here, for example? But I have here a box. And you see there is only a bevel modifier on it. And uh, I divided the box a little bit. So, and, and that is because if you um, do a boolean, then it reduces uh, problems with the boolean. So that's what I do. Now I go in uh, enter mode, I press 2 for edge, and then I press shift S, and then I go down. You can do it pretty fast, because to select it. Uh, so let's see, so tap to go in edit mode, shift S, and press tap again. And if you sh press shift A, M, C, and get this cube, change this cube. Scale on the X, maybe you want Control A to apply scale. Select uh, both, Shift, Control B, uh, brush difference. So, um, that works for me because I like, for me that's enough. I don't, I don't need uh, much uh, more than that. Well, here we add um, weight normal. And let's see, we have auto smooth on, and this object is shade smooth. For that, for this, uh, I like to have an add on. So you have an add object, you want to shade it smooth often. And under normals, you, you want to put in an auto smooth and at the end. So the stack, so there's um, a boolean. After the boolean comes a baffle, and after that, a weight normal modifier. So you can uh, go on like this. Let, um, let's do another example. Tap to go in edit mode 2 for edge um, selection. Shift S cursor to select it. Tap to go out of edit mode. Then Shift A M C to get the cube. And, and uh, now this time. I add a modifier and I go to mirror and I want to this cube to be uh, the mirror object. I select this cube, then that one, shift, control B, burst difference. Then I go select this object and I move this bo boolean uh, before the bevel and weight. So let's um, do something with the bevel because I want to have an angle most of the time and then arc, then you get nice bevels like that. I'm not sure, I so I don't see the text here. Yeah, maybe if I go, uh, I do unwrap. All oh, right, yeah, so. And that's the reason why. So let's uh, do something else. Because to select it, all right, Shift A M Y. Okay. So I scale it. Scale on the Z axis. Control A. Scale. Now um, let's do the mirror modifier. Uh, we want this object. And do it also on the Y. Select that. Shift Control B. Brush difference. Then I select this object, and then I go to select this one. Boolean up, and then I have that. So it works uh, pretty fast. So if you don't have a budget, and um, you see, you can do a lot of things already without having any paid add-on. And of course, if you need something, you can uh, uh, purchase it. So what I like about this is, I will check what, what the name of that, what is that? So this the bull to let's uh, see what the name of that is. I forgot bull. 
So that's the bool tool, and the bool tool is program files. Yes, that's uh, built in. So that's um, about, that's Blender 2.8, 2.8. So what I like is that I still see all these uh, booleans, and I can move them, I can adjust them, and I can go in edit mode. And do this and extrude on Z and then scale on X as they all um and wrap and grab. So there's a lot what I, what I can do. Alright, well actually I was just testing I'm just testing my microphone and I thought Let's talk about uh, this. Maybe that's interesting. All right. Thank you for watching.